hello everyone welcome to today's video in this video i'll be re-explaining the video i've made recently about okx p2p okay i told you that okx p2p is a very very profitable one and if you're looking to get started on okx p2p i'll advise you to do that because whenever a new p2p is launched you are supposed to be fast about it that's when it is much more profitable to get started you have to click on more of course and then once you click on more of course i always say your account must be verified as you can see this account is a new one i just created it for the sake of this video and i'll show you the verification level of this account look at the id verification of this level it's it's, it's on level one okay with a level one you can actually um create your ad and you can just use your basic verification now you click on p2p you can go straight to p2p trading that is here i'll be explaining something very very well for you i'm explaining something very basic that probably have been getting most of us confused now there's a business of trading there's a business of trading stable coins what are stable coins stable coins are coins that are not like they don't increase overnight and they don't also reduce overnight okay which means you can save your money on stable coins and your money will not be lost you will not it doesn't dip and it doesn't pump okay it can be very stable even if it's increasing it's increasing little by little now the this this tutorial is about the arbitrage of stable coins i pointed out some stable coins for you that is a stable coin TUSD is a stable coin, USDC is a stable coin, and USDT is a stable coin. Now, there are stable coins that are actually cheaper than the other, but the rates are the same. Okay, the rates are very, very the same. In fact, one die is equals to one USDT. Okay, one die is equals to one USDT, but the prices of die, the price of die is different from the price of usdt look at what i said i said one die is equals to one usdt but the price of this die now is 700 okay and the price of usdt is 742 this is where the profit comes in now what you're actually doing is buying die and selling usdt now somebody want to ask me what if i buy usdt and sell usdt the truth is that if you buy USDT and sell USDT, the profits are very, very slim. Let me show you exactly what I've talked about. Let me get straight to showing you what USDT is. Now, of course, this is the buy. This is USDT. This is where, this is where USDT is. And if you want to buy USDT here, okay, you want to, there are two ways to buy it. You are either buying as a customer or you are buying as a merchant. Buying as a customer is not actually profitable, it's very, very, very unprofitable. So, buying as a merchant is actually the best. So, let's say you want to buy as a merchant. If you put in, let's say you want to buy, and to buy as a merchant, you have to come to the sell side. Sorry for, for that. To buy as a merchant, you have to come to the sell side of the, um, of this app. Okay. Now, when you come to the sell side, of course, I told you that if you are trading with something, if you have a capital of 300,000 Naira, you should divide your capital to into 10. So that means you put like 10,000, 20,000 or 30,000 Naira here. Now let's say you are just putting 30,000 Naira here because I divided into 10. Now look at this. The reason, somebody, asked, somebody wants to ask, why did we come to the sell side? We come to the sell side because the sell side is where you, where people, where the merchants are buying. Okay, all these people here are buying, despite you seeing sell here. They are all buying because an ordinary customer will come here to sell his USDT to any of these guys you are seeing here. Okay, so once I click any of these guys you are seeing here, I've sold my USDT to them, which means they have purchased my USDT. So that means everybody you see here are buying. Hope you understand. So when you buy at this price, so when these guys buy at this price, okay, look at the price at this, at which this guy is buying. When this first guy buy at this price, seven fifty, you can see, he comes to where he will sell it. Now he comes to sell it here. Let's say he's now selling all the three hundred thousand naira at once. Look at he's selling it here, and look at he's making profit of he's making profit of around 
um 755.96 which is about around 5 naira or 6 naira per um trade it is very profitable okay it's more profitable than binance as it stands now this p2p is more profitable than binance you can see this guy has 9008 transactions which means he's he has been doing his almost this is almost even going to 10000 times you can see he's above 9000 transactions on this app which means people are really making more good money here now you can if you buy usdt and sell usdt here your profit will be roughly 6 naira per usdt you've sold Okay, so if you are trading with around 1,000, oh, sorry, okay, let's say you are trading with 400 USDT, okay, which is around 300,000 Naira, you're making 1,000, sorry, 2,400 Naira per, um, per trade, okay? Now, but what, the video I made yesterday was talking about buying another kind of stable coin and selling another kind of stable coin. Now, now we're going to be buying DAI, okay? This is DAI. I talked about DAI yesterday. So we're going to buy DAI and sell USDT. You can actually buy DAI and sell USDC. You can buy DAI and sell TUSD. But why are we buying DAI? We are buying DAI because DAI is cheap. Okay. And we are selling USDC because USDC is easiest to sell. It's very difficult to sell USDC. It's very difficult to sell TUSD because customers are nobody is actually buying TUSD and USDC. But people want to buy USDC people want to buy usdt sorry okay now um to buy die of course we're going to click on the usdt part and click on die i told you that merchants are buying on the sell side so before you even start buying you must be a merchant okay now you have a trading capital of three hundred thousand naira you can see you can, you, you can you can see what i'm showing you here now so these are the prices all these people are buying die look at this guy is buying die for seven to eight this guy is buying that for 709 don't mind this person this person is over overpricing his um um product this is the original price of die you can see this other guy is 706 okay now if you scroll down you see all the people who are buying die at a very fair price so let us see the 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 estimated price to buy die here is around 707 now when you buy die I told you at the beginning of this video that one die is equal to one USDT, which means if you purchase this die for seven zero nine and sell the die, you will get one USDT. Okay. So now, when you when you purchase the die for seven zero nine, you go on sports, use the die you have purchased to buy USDT. You can now sell your USDT at that same seven fifty. So that means you are buying at seven zero nine. And you are selling at 750. Okay. Now I purchased die, of course. I purchased die enough of die, and I want to go and change it to USDT. Let's say I purchased um okay. Let me let me do a short let me do a short tutorial now. Let's say look at this guy. Look at this guy, he's he's, he's buying die. Let me click let me click on his ad. Now I want to buy die what of let me say I want to buy 429 die. Okay. I want to buy 429 die. I'll just put 429 here. You can see I've spent 304,000 naira buying 429 die. This is a very practical video. I've spent 304,000 naira buying 429 die. Now, I've at my merchant, I've bought, I've purchased die, purchased die, and I've spent all my 304,000 naira buying 429 die. Now, let me go and exchange this 429 die to USDT. Now we have 429 die if we have purchased a 400 um uh 304,000 naira. Where to exchange it is here. Look at this place showing sports. Okay, this is where you're going to change your die to USDT. Which I told you that one die is equal to one USDT. This is where you're going to change it. You click on sports trading. Once I clicked on sport trading, you have to wait for it to load okay so most times if it's, if it's acting like this is just network issues then you just click on this place written btc just type die dai okay just type dai dai and it will come out look at the die here look at it here is at the number one side okay 
then you click on dai once you click on dai dai chart to load remember we have 429 dive we have purchased with 300 000, 304 000 era. now for you to sell your you want to sell your die now and get usdt that you want to go and sell click on limit order because we want it to be very very fast we want to buy fast so you click on limit order click select on market select on market 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 means you want to you want to buy usdt sharp sharp you don't want to wait okay click on market now type in the amount of you are, you are selling so we're going to click on you are going to click on sell normally it's going to be like this okay but we're going to change it to sell this is where i clicked why are we coming to sell we are coming to sell because we want to sell the die we have just purchased then you type the amount of die you have you have 429 that we have purchased from the p2p section now look at the amount of usdt we are going to receive after we have sold 429 die sorry let me remark it again for you this is the amount of usdt we're going to receive after we have sold 429 die we are receiving 428.9 usdt now once you click on sell die which is very very open for you to click here okay you'll be having 429 428.9 usdt which was which which is given to you immediately they will just rush back to sell our 428.9 usdt of course one thing i actually do is to send um remember we have 420 428.9 usdt okay let me write it down for you we have 428.9 usdt 428.9 we can actually send this phone we can actually send this into binance and sell it there but you can also sell it here. click on the p2p trading okay if you ask if you are sending to binance okay if you are sending to binance binance will charge you one usdt okay but if you are going to sell it here just click on look at just click on to sell it here is very simple click on sell change this die to usdt click on the die and change to usdt then click on anybody you can find here that is selling within that range okay selling within that range which means you can just come here type your let's say 300,000 naira if you find anybody selling 300,000 naira what okay nobody is selling 300,000 naira what let's reduce to 30,000 now okay this guy you can see the reason why we cannot sell here is because all these guys are selling within 1 million to 41 million this one is selling within 1 million to 41 million 25k to 41 million so that means this guy is the best person we can we can trade with okay because he's selling between between 25k to 49 million 41 million so we we'll touch him to sell our 428.9 usdt once you touch him you just type 428.9 look at what look at the amount you'll be getting now you will have been profiting you'd have gotten 321,000 naira okay 321,500 when we spent only 304,000 naira to buy the die now you can see the profit is there when you are trading between stable coins that is the profit let me tell you the truth personally i was doing it on binance on the binance deactivated die i was buying die and swapping my die for usdt and sell the usd on binance until binance now deactivated die now if you go on binance p2p you will not find die among their options okay now this is the business of trading stable coins find stable coins and sell you can even come and sell TUSD you can even come and buy TUSD if it's cheap you can buy USDC if it's cheap but make sure that your aim is to sell USDT okay you can buy any of these stable coins and sell it and change it to USD and buy but me for me I prefer die and I will advise you if you are buying buy die and sell usdt i have a reason for that because die has die has more traffic you will actually find people who want to sell their die to you immediately than people who want to sell this one to you people want to sell this one to you okay only that is the die is one of the stable coins that has higher traffic now if you even come to the place where i bought my die you find out that there are people who actually are making uh who people who are actually advertising okay let me reduce the amount so you can find them well now you can see people are already see all these people you are seeing here that's what i used to tell people i actually trade i actually um 
uh, hold the class for. They are not here for nothing. They are all making profit. Look at this one. 2,271 transactions. Look at this guy. Look at this one. Three trans this one probably just started today. They are all here because they are not... And this, this um, um, Bybit... Sorry, OKX is a new platform. Okay? It's a new platform. Look at all of them. They are making profit here. They are not here for nothing. They just set their ad and go to sleep. When they have orders, they come in to sell. Look at this guy. This Arantes is even buying his own die at 679.20. Okay, which is mad profit. Okay, look at this one. He's, he's buying his own at 689.00. So, so the, the, the thing there is that the higher you the higher you set your ad, the more customers you get. Whoever is above have the most customers. So, if you want to set your own ad, make sure you're setting your own ad. Maybe around 728.02. Or don't compete with this guy. Set your ad at 709.01. So you'll be, uh, you'll be ahead of this guy. Yesterday I made a video on how to create an ad. Now for you to create an ad so that you can be among these people who are buying die. The first thing you have to do is to verify your account to be at least level 1. You can confirm that my account is on level 1. Which is very very basic. And then... You must have up to 10 trades. What does it mean by having up to 10 trades? Just buy and sell any crypto 10 times. Okay? Buy and use their P2P up to 10 times. Some Binance. Binance actually tell you to do up to 30 trades. But these people just want only 10 trades. Because they are new. Okay? It's very new. I trade so many P2P, buy bits, um, Bidget, KuCoin. I'll be making videos on all of them. One after the other. But currently, this is the most profitable one on ground now which you can actually do with very little amount of money i on this video i used 300 000 naira, but the truth is that you can even use around 100 000 naira. just make sure it's above 100 usdt okay you can even use 70 000 naira to do this okay you can even use 50 000 naira, but make sure it's a reasonable amount that your profits will increase and one other thing i can show you is that on p2p business you can never lose yes you can never lose on P2P business, except the only time you lose is when you are paying money into somebody's account, into into a person's account that is you're not supposed to pay money into. Okay, you cannot lose money on like trading, um, other risky kind of trade. This is the best and most basic thing you can do for yourself. Okay, so um, finally I'll be I'll be ending this video by showing you uh, some of the details here. Like you can see, this first guy has eight. Uh, he wants to buy. 8,456 die. Okay. This other one wants this other one want to buy 9,854 die. Okay. This one wants to buy 60,000 die. So you see, they're not joking. They're not joking here. Okay. So this will be, um, we're edging closer to the end of this video. And I promise to bring you much more better videos. Kindly like this channel. Um, like, like our channel, subscribe to our channel, like the video. And Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified when another video has been released. We release a lot of videos on arbitrage and P2P, Binance and all of them, okay? How people are making money and how I'm also making money on this um, Bybit app. Sorry, OKX app, okay? So have a wonderful time and I will see you tomorrow when I show you something else. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.